by John McKinney. If you could please approach the podium and begin your comments. Good evening, Madam Mayor, esteemed members of the council. My name is John McKinney. I'm a 22 year veteran of the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office and a resident of Los Angeles. I came to your beautiful city this evening to encourage you to vote in support of the resolution of no confidence. And I might add that the agenda report that was prepared for your consideration is very thorough and to my eye, extremely accurate in describing the directives that District Attorney George Gascon dropped on the County of Los Angeles immediately after being sworn into office. Now, a vote like this should not be taken lightly. After all, Mr. Gascon is a duly elected official. And to hold a vote of no confidence or engage in the process of recalling a duly elected official is a big deal. It should only be done for one of two reasons. One, the person is engaged in corruption, or two, the person is unwilling to follow the law. The reason I'm here tonight, the reason that I'm encouraging you to vote for this resolution, and the reason that I have been speaking out against my boss whenever I get an opportunity, is because of his unwillingness to follow the law. He disregards the legislative process. He disregards the will of the people. For example, our legislature created special circumstances to be filed in certain first degree murder cases. They are extremely important because it's the only way in this state to get to a sentence of life without parole that almost everyone agrees is sometimes appropriate for certain heinous murders. District Attorney George Gascon, five minutes after being sworn into office and swearing to uphold the laws of the state, announced that he will no longer seek filing of special circumstances in any murder case. That means in Los Angeles County, we no longer have a sentence of life without parole. Someone could go out in the street and murder 10 people in cold blood. And if it happens in LA County, as opposed to any of the other 57 counties in this state, that person will not face a sentence of life without parole. And when you combine that with the elder parole law, that person will become eligible for parole in just 20 years. See, for people who really understand the law, they know this, that when our legislature passed the elder parole law that makes virtually everyone who's ever uh, convicted and sentenced for crime eligible for parole after just 20 years, no matter what their sentence was, whether it was 50 years, 100 years, 150 years, they still become eligible for parole when they reach the age of 50 years and have served 20 continuous years in prison. Except those who kill police officers in the performance of their duties and those convicted of crimes with special circumstances. If you have a district attorney who's not gonna file special circumstances, then those, two, those people too become eligible for parole. Now that's just one example of how he is disregarding the legislative process. He's also usurping the constitutional authority of our judges by not filing charges and allegations that put the important question of how people should be sentenced in front of judges, not district attorneys. Judges decide after hearing all the facts and evidence after a trial what the appropriate sentence should be. 85% of the homicides in Los Angeles through the first six months of this year have been committed against black and Latino people, 
92% of the gun-related murders in Los Angeles County through the first six months of this year have been against black and Latino people. We live in the most heavily gun-regulated state in the country, yet we have an elected district attorney who will not file gun enhancements in cases where criminals are killing black and Latino people at that rate. That is why I'm here, and that is why I'm encouraging you to send a message to the district attorney and to all of your neighbors in this county that the current district attorney is not competent, he's not qualified, he has no interest in public safety, he frustrates the entire criminal justice system because he's not acting as an advocate for the people. He's acting as an advocate for the criminals. He has set himself up as a minister of justice instead of a district attorney. We don't have a ministerial system. We have an adversarial system that requires a strong district attorney to speak on behalf of the public first and victims. 